Chris, and I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to do a, uh, a venous puncture on a mannequin arm. So first thing we're going to do is make sure we have all of our equipment. So the things we need is, of course, our arm, or this would be our patient, um, our IV fluid, our start kit, our drip set, and our IV catheters. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start with our IV fluid, pull it out. So first thing we're going to do is grab the IV fluid and we're going to look at the IV fluid, make sure that there's nothing in the IV fluid that's floating, uh, make sure that it's, dis that's not discolorated. Uh, also make sure that the, uh, there's any discoloration, uh, make sure that the, uh, the fluid is in date. So this says May 19th, so it is a little out of date. Uh, and it, that it's the correct fluid that we're going to get, okay? Next is the ad set. So uh, important with this, uh, there's different types of ad sets. This is a 10 drop ad set. You can tell that from this right here. Um, we're going to also make sure that this is covered. This is considered a sharp here, and this will go on uh, into the, uh, the bag of fluids. And we're also going to make sure that this has a cap on the end of it uh, to maintain that sterile feel while we're starting our IV. I'm going to go ahead and spike my bag, take this off. Take the cover off, get this upside down and squeeze my chamber at the same time. Insert the spike into the bag. Tip it upside down, release this, and let the fluid run out of the end of the line. I'm going to hang this up over here. I got a little trash can down here. I'm going to let the fluid run out and totally uh, fill up this bag. Normally you wouldn't have to squeeze it, it would just do so automatically. This a little tricky. Okay, we're gonna hang our line there, and our our uh, our fluid is ready to be hooked up to our patient when, after we do our vena puncture. Next, we're gonna grab uh, our start kit, pull everything out. You see we have different uh, different things in our start kit. We have a 4x4, some alcohol wipes, a tourniquet, a saline lock and flush, what we call a tegraderm, and tape. So the first thing you want to do is take your tape and rip about two inches of tape. I usually do three pieces. I take, I fold my four by four in half. In case I do miss my IV, I want to be able to bandage my patient. So have that ready to go. Open my tourniquet, or my tegraderm, sorry. And place it next to my patient. Next I'm going to apply my tourniquet. So, stretch it. You want it nice and tight, and you're just going to take uh, Hold the tourniquet like that and slide one end of the tourniquet up underneath your patient or up underneath the tourniquet itself, giving you a small little tail that you can pull 
to release the tourniquet. I'll do that one more time. Okay. Next up. So, um, so the last part of this, we're going to um, show you how to actually make the venous puncture. So I have all my equipment set up, ready to go. Uh, got my Tegraderm here. I've cleaned my IV side already. I'm going to clean it again before we start. Uh, I'm going to grab my the uh, my IV catheter and make sure that uh, pull the cap off and make sure that everything looks good with the needle. Um, make sure that there's no burrs on the needle and that the, the that it's functioning correctly. Going to also have break the seal by not touching the catheter with any part. I'm going to kind of give this a little twist. You'll notice it kind of loosens up a little bit on you. Okay. Paying attention to where my needle's at at all times. I'm going to grab my alcohol wipe again and clean my site just because I've, I've, I've walked away from it as I was explaining stuff. Okay. I tell my patient what I'm doing. I'm going to go bevel up into the vein, pulling the vein. Uh, the skin tight with my thumb back here. One, two, three, poke. I uh, should get a little bit of flash in here. Uh, this mannequin arm hasn't been working for us today. So I'm going about, uh, about a half an inch. And then I'm going to take this finger here, push that needle all the way in, the catheter all the way in, holding these two fingers steady to not push the needle in. Pull back, and you'll hear a click, okay? Going through tamponade, uh, the distal tip of the IV catheter, okay? Oh, there's a little bit of blood in there. So, <laughs> pop the tourniquet. This will prevent you from getting blood everywhere. Take this, this is immediately gonna go into the sharps box. I'm going to unscrew my cap from here, from my lock. Okay, at that point I can I can uh, release my pressure that I'm putting on my tampon on, and it's still holding on to this. And I'm going to flush to make pull back just a little bit and then flush. So when you pull back, you should get a little bit of blood. Make sure that's tight. Apply my taker derm. So you want to apply it to where you are still able to see this area here in case you have any, uh, your patient starts to have any type of reaction. And then this piece of tape that we tore, we're going to go right over the top, just like that. Just to hold it in place. Okay, next we're going to hook up our, our IV fluid. So we're going to take another alcohol wipe. Cleanse this area on the lock. Make sure it's nice and clean. Twist this off. This should be sterile. Put that on there. Open your fluid. Make sure it runs, which it does. I'm going to knock it down to about a TKO. And then I got my other two pieces of tape here that I can tape onto my patient's arm to hold this IV in place. I always try to make sure that I have access to this uh, port here so when I give medication I want that if I give a medication to that patient I want it easily accessible. Alright, thank
Thank you.